What up everybody? Main Fly Guys here with another tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be tying a dry fly that I saw by uh, David Troutbaum on Instagram. I just thought it was the coolest little uh, little dry fly. It's kind of a caddis mayfly hybrid or a crippled caddis type deal. So, um, or shucking caddis. I, I, I don't know. It's just very, very, uh, very cool fly. So, first thing, uh, I'm going to take some polypropylene and I'm going to tie in a little butt section. Uh, it doesn't need to be a lot, just just a little bit. Um, tie a little butt section, and don't worry about the uh, tail end for right now because we'll trim it in a second. But the body, I'm going to cut as long as I think that, um, as long as my body should be. And I like to go, that was a little short there, about three eye lengths back. So, right there is about three eye lengths back. That's plenty. Um, so the tail, you just want, what I do is I pull it back and I go right to sort of the end of the hook. And then you just want a little teeny tiny butt section. Um, next, we're gonna tie in some pheasant tail. And here I've pulled three or four fibers. Um, and I'm just gonna make sure that they are the same length. And they look pretty decent. I think I have four here, if I can see. Um, and I like the tails to be the same length as the body. Um, not the whole shank, but just the body of the fly. So it'll be right about there. So I'm gonna cinch that in. Make sure you're tying it towards the back. And make sure that your tails are on top. And that looks pretty good. So there we have a little tail section, which is kind of flailing out on me, but whatever. Um, here's what we got. All right, so now I'm gonna tie in some gold ribbing. Uh, we're gonna be adding gold, a gold rib to this pheasant tail body. All I do is one, I just tie it in once. That's it. Pull the pheasant tail body back and then begin wrapping the gold wire. I try to keep it on the side as best I can just to keep the body sort of uniform, but it'll pretty much be covered up by the pheasant tail. So will all these other fibers, that's why I'm not paying too much. Um, that's why I'm not paying too much attention to these little tiny baby fibers down here because they're going to be covered up anyways. Um, okay, so now we're going to take our pheasant tail and we're just going to wrap it up. I like to use hackle pliers for this part because uh, the pheasant tail often breaks or is very slippery for me, so go slow. There's no need to rush. And I, I like to leave, there's going to be a little gold tag end and that's totally fine. I don't care. So we're going to wrap it up, just touching wraps all the way. And it doesn't need to be overly long, you know. Okay, so we've cinched that in. Good to go. And we'll trim the excess. Okay, there's our little body. Next, I'm just going to wrap the gold once around the tail before the body. And then, come on. And then I'll get onto the body. And I like to do pretty close wraps, so you can obviously space them out further, but I like to do close wraps. The weight is no issue because there's going to be, you'll see in a second, there's no way that this fly will sink. You might not even need any floating for this fly. It's going to be super, super buoyant. Um, all right, so after you've tied that in, okay, so we have our body, we have our tail, we have our little little husk here, um, and our gold ribbing, um, so that looks pretty good, nothing crazy right now. Um, this next part, you're going to add in a wing with some deer hair, and I've selected tan deer hair. Um, this is going to be a crippled wing of sorts. 
Um, but the biggest thing, so it's gonna be a crippled wing, it's gonna lay like that. The biggest thing is to not take too much. I, when I first tied this pattern, I took way too much and it ended up not being good. So my advice to you would be take, take less, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it down and I'm gonna say, you have to measure out, this is gonna be your wing, so you have to measure out how high you want it to sort of cripple up and usually about a body length beyond is good. So right, right about, I'll go a little further, right about there is good. So you just wanna loosely tie it in, you don't wanna cinch it down yet. But the most important thing is to make sure that it does not roll over. So you want to keep it directly on top, all right? So I'm going to go all the way to the hook, all the way to the uh, to the eye, and okay, that's pretty good. So it's rolling a little bit. Just make sure that it does not roll, and then you're going to work all the way back to your um, to your pheasant tail body. And once you get all the way back to the pheasant tail body, so here I'm back to the body, I am going to pull down and this will flail up out back. All right, now give this a trim and you want it to be very little, like just a little case. You know, you don't want it to be overwhelming, just a little case. Um, the next step, we're gonna tie in some hackle. This is Whiting Farms. Uh, can't remember if it's ginger or not, but I think it is. Um, there's a dull side, the underside of the feather, and then a sort of brighter side. You wanna tie it in with the brighter side facing you. So I'm gonna come in and tie it in with the brighter side facing me. And this is where the fly really starts to take shape. So go all the way to the hook all the way to the eye, make sure everything's in place. And I'm sort of running out here, so I'm gonna use hackle pliers. And just go slow, you typically are gonna get four or five turns out of this little section here, if you've done it right. Um, there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, and there is five. Oops, careful. Okay. Once that's in there, cinch it in. Be careful not to grab any fibers, although it's kind of inevitable. Um, what I like to do is two, two little wraps on it. And just kind of pull things tight. Now, before I trim anything, I come underneath the wing and just do a few wraps underneath. That wrapping, what it will do is bring your, oops, it will bring your um, deer hair to sort of an upright uh, position. I had a little slippage there, so I'm just gonna adjust my fly. So, all I do is just get tucked underneath there. And I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but so now my crippled wing is up. I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna trim my hackle out if I can, there we go. Um, and this is your fly. So here it is, I, I think it's awesome. I love this fly, it's simple. I do half hitches uh, in here because I don't like to mess around with the whip finish. Um, because I feel like I will ruin the, uh, ruin the, the crippled wing. I feel like I'm going to, I'll ruin it. Um, you obviously can use different color combos. Feel free. I mean, it's not my pattern, but, um, I think it's just super awesome. I, I really like it. Um, and I give credit the guy's name, uh, on Facebook. I mean, on uh, Instagram is David H E underscore Troutbum, and he's got some really cool stuff that I I think is awesome. So here, um, here's our fly. Uh, just a simple little cripple. 
but I just really like the look of it. Very, very fluffy, um, very, very versatile. My tail is not super great. I can obviously be improved a little bit if you see it there, but um, pretty good. Great pattern, simple to tie, easy to tie, you know, an under 10 minute, five minute pattern in that range. So uh, hope you liked it. Uh, if you uh, want to see some more fishy content, head on over to my Instagram page at Main Fly Guys and uh, give us a follow. So thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time.